Good morning. It is day 104 on the Appalachian Trail. I just spent the evening at the 10 Mile River Shelter, mile 1464 um, in Connecticut. And yesterday I ended my video showing you that I made it to Connecticut and I seem to not be really all that enthused, um, but for good reason, my ankle and leg calf were really hurting. Um, but anyhow, so I'm gonna show you the river. I'm gonna do 20 miles today, try to get in there early. It's only 625 right now, um, but there is a big bird that I wanna see if we can see um, standing in the river. And then somebody can tell me what it is. I think it's a gray heron. So let's take a look. I think that's a gray heron. You see him? Yeah, he just opened his mouth and closed it. There you go. Wildlife on the AT. So let's kind of just cruise down a little bit. And just, you see that? But I'm... Uh, my first step is to go to like Bulls Run Ridge, which is <coughs> about 1.9 miles from here. Uh, it's pretty flat. My ankle has been, I have a little lip, so I'm going to use two poles today. But here is the river. We're going to go up, I believe. Yeah, the AT goes there. Let me just um, decrease this a little bit. All right. I'm going to go up on top of the bridge. This is the Ned Anderson Memorial Bridge. Thank you, Ned. Uh, yeah, this is going to be a rough day. Uh, I'm five foot four, and this railing is almost over my head. Apparently, they don't want people climbing over it. A pretty river. And then, this is Ten Mile River, and I believe that's the Housatonic that's coming in. So, this is the confluence of those two rivers. Pusatonic and 10 Mile. 10 Mile, which is what I'm standing over, and Pusatonic, which is right over there. Oh, this is, so let's head, let's head, head up to the Bull Run store, general store, get some snacks for today. <clears throat> and I also have to charge my batteries, otherwise I won't be doing videos. So you don't want that to happen. <clears throat> My next stop after that will be a town called Kent. And I think I'm going to have lunch in Kent. That's at about mile 9.5. And then a fairly easy walk from there <clears throat> to um, either a town or another shelter. Haven't decided yet but either way we'll get there so let's move it along and this is a side trail to go to the grocery not to the general store where i get to pick up some snacks and maybe get some caffeine and it's called bulls bulls bridge and hopefully a car doesn't come and this is what you do, do under a bridge like this. Hello! Ah, not much of an echo. Anyhow, coming through. So I just left Bulls Bridge um, General Store. That lady works seven days a week, 13 hours a day, and has been doing that for 21 years. So if you can, come off to this exit when you're hiking. Yeah, and stop at the store 
wonderful lady and um, yeah, works her butt off. And it's because of that we get to drink sodas and coffee and all that stuff. So I wish her the best. Hope she gets a day off someday. So anyhow, it's my plug and I don't do plugs often. <clears throat> But I'm back to the, I'm gonna head back to the bridge. And then I think I'm going up that mountain. Uh, I'm gonna go up that mountain and it's gray up there. <laughs> That's not good. Ooh. Well, I know it's very humid. The humidity's gonna wear off and I'm gonna be back at it. So my battery got charged. Now I'm heading to Kent. That'll be my lunch spot. It's about seven, eight miles away. Should get there by 11, 11, 11.30. Rest as my protocol is to rest. And then, uh, and then hit the next 10 miles afternoon there you go rinse and repeat so i made it to the top of the the climb today and i'm going to show you this is where i came from over there and that's uh yeah somewhere in there is where i slept somewhere down towards the bottom i think and i can just make out the river over there so i might have traversed there and then climbed up this. And so I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna just continue. I ran into a, another hiker, so we got talking backpacks and stuff. So let me tell you about my backpack, <laughs> which I think you already know, but let's do this. Let's, um, I have the Durston uh, Kakwa 55 liter. And when I first started, I filled it up with a couple rolls at the top um, because it was a, uh, it was winter or end of winter. And <clears throat> that worked out well, but now that it's hitting summer, it's as low as it can go because I don't have a lot of clothes. I switched out my sleeping pad. The biggest thing in there is my two-person tent, which I don't even need a two-person tent at this point. Um, I switched out my sleeping bag, well, my quilt. Uh, yeah, and so this has become kind of excessive for what I'm needing to carry, especially with the fact that we're, we're hitting, you know, we've been in an area where you can get food whenever you need to. Um, like I'm gonna get to Kent and, uh, and um, have lunch, probably a sandwich or something. Um, but yeah, so that's, that's my backpack and it's, I probably could get away with the 40 liter right now if I switch to a one person tent. Um, but with that said, I'm not gonna spend money on a one person tent right now. I guess I could take the 40 liter, put the tent up on the top, but then yeah. Anyhow, so that's kind of where I'm at. And I'm on top of a ridge. This is what I'll call the high point of the day. Cause then I'm gonna drop, I'm gonna go across the ridge for a few miles and then drop down into um, the area where Kent is. I don't know how far off trail it is, but people seem to be getting there I, with about Two miles to go, I'm gonna look for shuttle drivers to see if I can get a shuttle into Kent. I just took out some money at the ATM at the 
at the general store. So I'm trying to, I'm kind of trying to hike independently since I lost my whole trail family. <laughs> I am going to catch up to Mountain Goat. Today's Monday. I'll catch up to her Wednesday night, uh, if not sooner. So if nothing else, I'll be trailing behind her, you know, a few miles behind her on Wednesday and then, um, yeah, and then being able to get a place to stay for the night somewhere. Anyhow, so that's a little bit about my bag. That's a little high point and I'll touch base in a little bit. <clears throat> Apparently that um, mountain view that I was at was in New York. It was this so I went into Connecticut, back into New York. Now I'm back into Connecticut for good, um, which is pretty cool because that leaves uh, four states that I haven't been to. So five, this is the last of Connecticut. I'll be out of Connecticut uh, sometime Wednesday either tomorrow night or early Wednesday, I'll be in Massachusetts. So there you go, keeping you posted. So I'm walking to the town of Kent, Kent, uh, Connecticut. And it says the sign, Kent Falls State Park. Wonder if I go there. Anyhow, I am going to, oh, this beautiful house. Squirrel. I'm going to, Look for somewhere to eat, which I think is down this street. But it's a beautiful little town. Very historic looking. Now I'm going to jaywalk. And then look for something to eat. And I think there's also a place where I can take a shower or some semblance of a shower. So here we go. So I just spent the last couple hours hanging around. Saw some couple uh, hikers I hadn't seen in a while. So they're just kind of hanging out. A lot of people are going, I think six miles to get to the next shelter. I'm gonna shoot for 10 because five of those miles is flat, a flat river walk. Um, and now I'm gonna just head back up to uh, up to the turn where I can jump back and start, I think, climbing a couple hills. So we'll see how it goes. Unsure if you can hear me, but this is the Housatonic, which we saw the confluence earlier. Um, and it's kind of nice that we're starting to get these native names because it's telling me we're getting closer to my home state where the Pemigewasset lives. <laughs> and the Piscataqua and the Amanusik. So kind of getting close. It's called Caleb's Peak. Beautiful view. Uh, good breeze. Yep, good breather. Now it's all downhill and there's a river walk. A lot of water down there, so I'm gonna head that way and get some water. Uh. So, <clears throat> since leaving town, I have been wandering along the river. And I called a friend of mine because it's pretty flat, but here's the Housatonic. And I like just saying that, you already know that from today. Um, and then here's the trail. It's been flat, it's been wider than this. It's been gravel, it's been flat. It's, it just went into a field and then came out of the field. And then I hung up with my buddy um, it's 83 degrees, I'm at mile 19-ish, 
and I have a dilemma. I feel like I've been overheated this afternoon and I'm thinking of getting a hotel room for tonight. The problem is they're expensive and it's only going to get hotter later in the week. Today's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday are supposed to be up in the 90s. So um, let's show you the river instead of the... So I have to kind of make a game day decision here <clears throat> and hopefully it's the right one. Get out tomorrow morning, start early, hike till it gets hot, take a break as long as I need to, and then hike again. Um, in doing so, I might sh fall short of my 20 mile goal, but I'd rather be safe than sorry um, because it's going to be, like I said, in the 90s. My goal is to get to Massachusetts in two days, mid mass, um, you know, in four days, and then my wife can kind of see me for that night, but I don't know. I just, uh, I'm trying to be smart and not so goal oriented on the 20 miles, which can get me into trouble with, uh, with this heat. So apparently there's a tree with a duck picture on it. I guess ducks like that tree. But anyhow, if I find anything exciting here, I'll let you know. I'll also check back in on the decision that I make on where I'm going to stay tonight. Because I can get a couple extra miles. Um, I can, I, okay, I'm kind of babbling, but I can get a couple extra miles by going to a hotel, and that puts me ahead of what I need for tomorrow. <clears throat> so, and I just got another bug in my eye. They're just nasty tonight. So, anyhow, enjoy the river one last time, and I'll check in later. So, oh, um, made another rookie mistake. I passed the campground that I wanted to stay in originally. Um, felt like I needed to get to a town to get a shower and cool off and have a good night's sleep before it got too warm tomorrow. Uh, I called the hostel. They're full. Next best place was $150. I'm walking down a road towards that because otherwise it's up over the mountains and it's getting dark and I'm going to see what's happening in this town before I give up on it. So I'll see what happens. I'll check in tomorrow, but um, that's it for day. I think it's 104. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, like, subscribe and share and, and be kind because... 104 days on the trail and I'm still making dummy mistakes so I'll talk talk later and this is Connecticut